Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had made a video a couple days ago saying that I was going to be making a special video on how I film and edit my videos and this is the video. So I'm glad that you stopped by to check it out. I really had fun filming and making it for you and sharing all my tips and tricks. Um, in this video I will share with you the camera that I use, the lenses that I use, the microphones that I use, and my editing software and editing enhancement softwares and things like that. So without further ado let's get into the video. So for filming I use a Canon T5i and I'm really enjoying it. It has a flip out screen and it has autofocus and I really like the qualities of my videos. The lens I'm using is a Canon 24mm and it's a prime fixed lens but it does give that nice bokeh effect and blurry background. And the tripod I'm using is called Targus Tripod, and I got it at Target, and it's a nice size, and it was at a good price. The microphone I use to film sit-down videos is an external microphone by k &F Concepts, and it's great quality, and I'm really enjoying it so far. Now on to lighting. Right now I'm using natural light. I have a really big window and I get great light during the day. So next is the editing and I'll show you how I use Keynote. So I like to use Keynote as making um, my green screen title transitions and then just other kind of green screen transitions and I just made a sample one here and I will show you what it looks like and so you can just go ahead and be creative and um, play around with Keynote it's really fun to make your own title transition I like to go to a site called defont.com and this is where I get all of my fonts and they pretty much have new fonts every month or every week and I really like this site so you should go check it out to get um, some new fonts. And then I like to go to a girl named Gabrielle Marie and she has a lot of effects and green screen transitions and different things so you should go check her YouTube channel out but she has great um, kaleidoscope effects channel reviews and a lot of um, different editing needs and then for my thumbnails and other editing I like to use PicMonkey and I'm not going to go through exactly how I make my um, thumbnails or my end cards but there's tons of videos on how to do this so um, this is just the site that I use and you can just be creative and it's really fun so check this site out if you do not know about it yet as for editing, I like to use this site and it is called Handbrake. And you just go ahead and choose the video that you want to be made smaller and you web optimize it and just go ahead and look at the interface of Handbrake and you will see what I mean. So, and you just keep it on video and then I just like to move it to 25 
quality. And then I just keep everything else the same. And then on down here on the encoder options, I like to keep that very fast. And that's all I do. And then I just press start. And then it will just encode your file to make it smaller so when you upload it to YouTube it uploads at a faster speed rate. So go ahead and check Handbrake out and start using it so your uploads go faster. So finally we're at the part where I'm ready to get into Final Cut Pro and I will just show you um, some of what I've edited so far. Um, I like to make a introduction, my intro, and so I'll just clip some pieces from my video and I'll bring them to the beginning and I'll kind of give you an example of what it looks like. So I'll just pick my music and then I'll just use um, different transitions either from Final Cut Pro or ones that I've made like the how I edit my video I made that in Keynote and then I will um, go through and just make sure everything sounds and looks good to me and I have a lot of layering as you can see with the green screen transitions and then my music and then my voiceovers so that is basically how I edit my videos and I will be making a more in-depth video possibly on just Final Cut Pro and exactly what I do and so forth but um, this is what it looks like in Final Cut Pro so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this I really had fun making it for you and feel free to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll just see you next time bye